morning, Jonalyn. Uh, good morning to ma'am. Okay, Jonalyn, can you tell me about yourself? Uh, I am Jonalyn Tisumawang, 32 years old, married, and I have only one child. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Okay, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? Uh, I want to work as a maid because I want to help my children and also my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia to see and also the, the climate and the environment. How are you qualified for this job? Uh, for the hardworking, honest, patient. May I know what your educational level is? Uh, my educational level is a uh, high school graduate only. What is your recent working experience? Before the recent working experience you have, the latest. The latest uh, housekeeping. Housekeeping, domestic helper, housemaid. Housemaid, domestic helper. Oh. Which one? Domestic helper, ma'am. Okay. So you have worked abroad before, right? Because you are a yes, domestic helper. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. I have. And whose baby are you taking care of? Um, newborn baby. Mom. How about elderly? <coughs> also elderly, uh, 78 years old. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, yes ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Uh, Philippine food, Arabic food and uh, it's like the uh, Chinese food. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Like clothes. Uh, like clothes, ma'am. Okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Okay, from these house chores that I mentioned, which do you like most? Uh, cleaning. All of them, mom. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother, mom. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed? Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed? Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Uh, I am honest, uh, kind, and patient, understanding. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? 
Ma'am, can you repeat, ma'am? How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Like, uh, hard working, ma'am. So you will work hard. This is to assure us that you will finish your contract. Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Uh, no, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Fit to work, ma'am. Are you on uh, any medication right now? No, ma'am. Not yet finished. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? Yes. Uh, no, ma'am. Are you sure? Wait, ma'am. Ma Do you have yes, family here in Malaysia working? No, ma'am. Okay, Janeline, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if yes, ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? You will be if ever any of your family members pass away, Jonaline, what will you do? I will do foster mom. Jonaline, okay, you are here in Malaysia for six months only. Yes, ma'am. If ever any of your family members passed away in the Philippines, what will you do? What are you going to do? Working, ma'am. Give me a complete answer. Continue working, ma'am. What happened to the family in the Philippines died? Um. Okay. I will send them a money, ma. What else, Jonalyn? Yes, ma.